welcome back to The Evil Within. You join us at the end of chapter 11. And now, we begin chapter 12. Chapter 12 is called The Vide. I hope this is like a roller coaster. Roller coaster. You guys are finally going to take the wheelchairs for a spin. We are going to get that wheelchair that's right there in the middle of the loading screen. We're going to take them, and me and Joseph, we're going to race down the streets. Thank God you're all right. How did you get here? It wasn't easy. At least I haven't had any more uh, episodes. I wish I could say the same. Hey, I think I might have found us some transportation. It's a school bus. A bus. A charter school bus. This thing gonna run? Only one way to find out. Shit! Kidman. Really? What are you doing? She's a jerk to us. And, and then, then she tries stealing try, our tries car. Hide. Yeah. How dare she? Oh, there's like a giant spider up there. She still stole our bus. That spider's got a gas mask. Or something. Also, she stole our bus. So, that is the ride that this chapter refers to. Hey, it's a convertible bus now. Damned if I'm going to die in here. Okay, maybe the answer is to shoot it in the face. Or the smoke that it was leaking out. Oh, gross. Yeah, I was about to step on it, but... Got no traction. I don't know how long we'll be safe here. I don't think we're going to be safe here at all. Now what? Sebastian, they're above us. Watch out, they've got dynamite. Uh, hey, stop it, stop it! Down. Good thing I only need to worry about them from one direction right now. So oh, I'm expecting them to attack from all sides. Enemy to the right. What exactly is she waiting for? Who knows the video game? Uh oh. Bus is gonna blow up now. Just because if she was trying to start it or something, I wouldn't be complaining. But as it is, she's just kind of. Standing there looking concerned. More of them on the move. Don't get rattled. Get down. Hit. See? 
she's just... Okay, I guess she is actually shooting at them. I've got two shots left, so I hope there's not too many more. You're gone. I've got one shot. I've got zero shots left, actually. Time to explore the potential of a shotgun as a medium-range weapon. And can something please happen so the bus can get out of here? Because I don't like it here. Leave these ones to me. If I could just get out of the bus. Oh, there you go. And it's gonna explode the truck. That was a close one. And now she's driving forwards again. You know, that was just luck. Like, we were not doing anything proactive to try and get out of there. Keep us to the left up here. Oh, it's the spider again. Hello, spider tech. We're not concerned about you anymore. Out of ammo. I actually have zero ammunition, so if you would be nice enough to pause for just one second while I get my exploding crossbow ready. But what I could really use is ammunition of every single kind, because right now I am essentially useless. Oh, okay. Yep, he grabbed onto us. And it did not pay attention to the clearance 12 feet sign. Where are we heading, Joseph? I've got a theory. We seem to be moved around an awful lot. Almost as if by someone's will. So it's nearly impossible to get any sense of the geography around here. But the light, Beacon Mental Hospital, it's always in the distance. This thing you found me hooked up to, I've seen it in more than one place. Yeah, so have I. It seems like it's the same exact one, but it's hard to be sure. The thing that I've noticed is that each time I run across one, I seem to be closer to the lighthouse. It could be a coincidence, but like I said, it seems as if there is some intelligence behind it. So you figure we ought to cut to the chase and just head straight for the hospital? Exactly. Nice work, detective. The right side looked like it led more directly toward the hospital. Oh! Joseph, no. Joseph's dead. Just get us out of here. There's an ambulance there. There might be some kind of first aid. I'll go. No, I'll do it. Don't let any of them on board. Look at those random street names. Hold on. To the left, see? Placid, derangement, exit 666. Wow. Philistine Road. Delirium. Amnesia. See? 
Those aren't too bad as far as names go for fake roads. I need ammunition. I do not want to try and fight large amounts of enemies by triangle buttoning them to death. Female police officer, that's nice. How still inclusive. Just still a crazy zombie. Oh, maybe that guy's got shotgun ammo. I think I wasted any opportunity I had to stealth kill her. His melee well, you damage. You still have your crossbow. Yeah, and I really probably should have used it instead. I just I wanted to smack her in the head with the bottle and then do some okay, kind well. of stealth kill business. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Oh, shot in the back. Okay, I will prepare some explosive crossbow bolts before going down there. to make some of these. There we go. That's what I wanted. Bloody barbell because I smacked him with the bottle. Well, that was worth it even if I die. I got a trophy out of it. And a million pieces. Oh, I see the bomb. I see the bomb. I saw it too late. I'm waiting for the dynamite to go off. Now you get one. And so do you. Explosive bolts for everybody. Using the crossbow is probably the only way I'm going to get back to having a reasonable stock of ammo. Hey. There we go, that's two. Does that mean there's a sniper? It does mean there's a sniper. That guy thinks he's so special with his gun. 
This gun might fire big bullets, but they don't explode. I'm not sure why we needed to go find an ambulance because I've got magical syringes. Let's see what ambulances have that I don't. Hemostatic. Let's hope he's not allergic to it. Wouldn't that be great? We inject him full of it, and he bursts out in hives, and we think he's transforming into a monster, but nope. Allergic reaction. Oh, come on. Hey, you remember that military base I was all excited about earlier in the game? We found it! It's just not on our side. Open up a path for me. Which is nice of it. Okay, well, I hope the solution is to awkwardly sprint towards it because that's all I've got. I gotta get my hands on that machine gun. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore them and see if I can get that machine gun. Hey guys, forget the school bus. Forget the school bus. This is what we need. We would have absolutely zero problems if they would just get in this car. You're gonna run out of bullets or something. And that's why you know, you guys even can't if we do, it. even if we do run out of bullets. This is probably going to be faster than the boss. Please hurry. Come on. You saw that. Yeah, he, you're welcome. Jeez. He wipes his forehead. Just keep them off me. What? Why is this? Okay, so I really shouldn't have gotten off of the machine gun. Well, it looks like you still can get up there, at least. I wonder if that's what they meant by hurry. Please help. Because I thought hurry meant 
Hey, stop screwing around with the big gun. Maybe not. You guys gonna let me in? You guys let me in. And now Joseph is miraculously better. This is the one injury in the game that those syringes can't heal. That and needing glasses. Let's get out of here fast. Come on, just mount the machine gun on, like... On the bus. Just bolt it onto the top. Hey, right, cool, I'm driving now. Smush, smush, smush. Smush. Ah, that's Ruvik. I'm gonna not touch him. He's gonna flip the bus. Or not. It's not a bus, it's a rocket ship. Really? See, Kidman got the nice apartment. Wow. Chapter 12 was... No, it was short. That was very brisk. Not short. Brisk. Let's just go straight. Straight into chapter 13. Casualties. That's what it's called. We're gonna find out how many people died in that bus crash. At least Joseph and Sebastian are still alive. Kidman? No. Nope. Bye, Kidman. Yeah, she's gone. It's okay. She wasn't very nice. Like at all. She was a cold fish. Look, a mirror that's not a save point. It's somehow showing the sky. Gone. My my wife disappearing means I've earned myself a save point.
This place is increasingly it's ruined. Been a while since your last visit. Century old mansion. Victoriano estate. We've been there. Which just confirms more that this isn't the real world. You might want to save. I will. I'm just going to upgrade. I'm going to upgrade my detective first. Max out his detective a bit. And back to the real world. Well, I'm not sure if it's real. It's realer than. Is it realer or faker than the dreams? I'm not sure anymore. Me neither. That is definitely the. What did he just do? What did he just do? That's definitely the direction I'm supposed to be going. I'm gonna see what Joseph's over here doing. Hey, Joseph. We get down there. Oh, he wants to see if Kidman's alive. She's not. She's dead. That's why the chapter's called Casualties. Is that acid? Oh, do you see the jar of green goo? Did I see the what? The green gel. When right was, there. Oh. So now we know what brain energy is. It's green gel. So that meant that if I had triggered it, it would have dissolved me. As you know, some guy put a lot of effort into a dissolving Sebastian. Oh, this hotel. This barbed wire must have been difficult to install. So, we're gonna have to take a train ride. What could cause this much damage? See that in the middle of the train? A subway stick? I see it, yeah. Yeah, but look how it's positioned. If we can get over there, we might be able to use it to get across. As it falls down. To concentrate on getting out of here. Because I would never look at a train in that position and think, that looks yep. like the ticket. That's, that's a bridge. That's just the ticket. The elevator is going to fall. I uh, might have to shoot it. Yeah. And that's what the elevator is for. The manual elevator. And now it falls all the way to the bottom, separating me from Joseph. Don't risk it. Hold on. I think I see another way down. I'll meet you on a lower level. Of course. Well, you know, if there'd been two people on that elevator, it probably would have fallen right away. Damn it. First Kidman, now... Oh, I thought we were done with the box man. Box man. Oh, 
Well, I've turned off my lantern. Between that and crouching, I've done everything I can to avoid the boxman. Oh, look, he just went straight into the fire. Maybe you don't need to worry about him. Green gel here, there's green gel there. I could even hide in there if I wanted to. That looks a bit Rubik y. Pretty sure it's not, though. Uh -oh. oh, fine. Spoil my stealth game. Definitely not Rubik, but I'll take a thousand. You know, stealth is all right, but I do like not having to worry about any of it. And if you just give up on stealth, bring them all to you by making a lot of noise, as soon as they're dead, the rest of the level's easy. Well, until they spawn more. So far, this game doesn't seem like it's had a huge problem with unlimited enemies. And there's the acid, which I would look at, but don't want to die. Oh, hello. Ow, I was about to stomp on him. That's just so gross. You punch somebody hard enough, you too could be covered in raspberry jam. I could probably go down there. See, there's the box head telling me that that is the direction that box man went. Conservationist, what's that for? Oh, it looks like you stomped on 25 enemies. Oh, instead of shooting them. I understand. Well, I'm not saving ammo for fun here. I'm saving ammo because I don't have enough. But thank you for giving me a trophy. I will take a trophy. see her, and the key, I'm going to have to get that later. I'm not going to jump down there quite yet. Not Just remember, when there's it's at down least, there. 
I will attempt to remember that it's down there, but there's obviously still stuff upstairs. This is the last room before we go downstairs. And the last room looks like it really wants me to go downstairs. Fine. Yeah, we are approaching the domain of the box man. Too slow. Too fast. Too something. Point is, Boxman noticed me, and that is not what I wanted to have happen. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Just suddenly there was a swish, a swish, and then another swish, and then I was dead. But now that I know where Boxman is, I could probably sneak up on him. Perhaps. Deliver a grenade near his feet. And that might solve our Boxman problems. In fact, I'm just going to get the grenades ready now. And I'm going to turn off the lantern. Because between the grenades and probably a shotgun shell, or three or four or five. See the tripwire. I do see it. And that somehow, okay, he is definitely alerted now. I've done most of what I can do. There we go. The box man falleth. You know there's gonna be another- oh! Somebody didn't like that. It was the box man who didn't like it. Oh, he hits me one time. Too bad I don't have any more surgical kits. Look, yet another one. But there should only be like three, right? Three or four. Oh, based on the number of boxes around, yes. But... I am going to prepare my agony crossbow. 
just in case there's another one. Yeah, see, that's the flashing. Oh, there's there's two more boxes behind me. Oh no. Maybe you should just try running through. I can't run through the acid trap like that. That's the problem. The problem is the acid trap. Because you remember how long it took to disarm that. But then again, there is probably only a limited number. Yeah, I think I'm just going to head straight for it this time. After, of course, picking up the 1,000. Maybe you shouldn't have attacked him. I don't think there's any way I could have made it through this far, though. Is that... Oh, that's not the right answer. Oh! That is very much not the right answer. Yeah, let's just get down here and hope that Boxman is too big to follow me. Well, I killed three of them. Proves that Boxman aren't so tough. And Are you in there? There's the boss. It's on fire. She's not in there. Or it is on fire and she's there. Stairs. Says the sign. We are so close. Oh, something broke. So close to the boss. Oh, that bird. That bird's taunting us. And now that bird is dead. Hey, look, a little case. I already well, had that? a gun, but... Magnum. A Magnum? High caliber revolver. Okay. So it's like a pistol, but things fall over faster. <laughs> Who is laughing? Whoever it is. Oh. There's something going on in my save room. Get out of there. You figured it out yet? No. He loves tormenting others. Has to let them know he has the upper hand. Lays out the bait. Gets his victim all worked up. His unholy traps. When it was happening to me, I could see what was going on. I could see it. But I couldn't turn back. I had to know. I had to know the truth. And he knew it. <clears throat> And now I'm right back in the mental asylum with me. Am I going crazy? If one wishes to survive, one would do well to consider who they trust. That makes it sound like maybe we shouldn't trust her. What? Joseph! Why are you leaving? Searching Crimson City for someone. I wouldn't be surprised if that's Kidman, so that might be the last that we ever see of Joseph. I see another way down, he says. And that's the end of him. So I'm going to use my hard-earned gel that I got from killing all of the boxmen. You know, I've just got the Magnum. There's probably a new section just for it. Yep, Magnum. However, I'm going to focus on finishing the shotgun first. So I've overcome the boxman, and I'm right next to the boss, but saving Kidman is going to have to wait. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time.